Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Smart Sam. This is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing season three, episode two of Supergirl, and I forgot already the name of the episode. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we start off with uh, Maggie and Alex are um, are being lovey dovey, and basically it turns into a morning sickness between everybody, between the mom that talks to her daughter. I don't know that they give any names later in the episodes. So I just want to wait until we get to that part to actually name them that. So then we get to Lena is now at Catco because she bought them out for $750 million. Can I have 10% please? Just saying. Anyway, um, so um, she's basically going around the office and basically she's doing the new technique that most bosses do. They just walk around. They don't have an office and they talk to people in their true statements, I guess, their opinions. So they're just walking around and just start questioning people at random. So she's going to be at Catco every single day. And so then uh, Cara gets her a, like, a composition book with, like, a pen and everything. And she's, like, super excited for her to be there and everything. So that's really cool. As Ross is saying, so I love this lamp. So sorry in advance. Let's see if I can fix that. Kind of better? Anyway. So, um, so Alex and Maggie, um, uh, Maggie start bickering over a band or a DJ for the wedding. It's like one of the biggest things you can bicker about, apparently. And so then there's a report of a woman that's just taking stuff. And so they get another report that she's at this, um, bank robbery right now. So Supergirl goes to talk to her. And basically, um, the, the woman, uh, shoots mental thoughts at them to show their worst fears. So first, um, so she, so Supergirl has a panic attack and she's literally on the floor, like, curled up into like a little ball, like just freaking out. And then they bring her back to the DEO and she seems to be fine. Then John, uh, examines her and knows that certain levels are off about her psychic, um, abilities of the person that attacked her. And so, um, but she goes back to work and leaves. And then the mom's daughter is in trouble. Basically, she punched another girl in the face at work, um, at school. So the mom talks to her and it's like, why did you do this on today of all days? Because um, the mom's starting her new job. Then Lena and Jimmy kind of butt heads because um, she's had, because Lena's had meetings with every department and did not include James, and James feels like he needed to be included in that conversation. So that's why he's kind of like, I need to be informed. So um, then it's Brown 2 with the woman, and John tries to um, help her out from afar with his mental capabilities, trying to um, help shield her mind from her. But it doesn't work, and so she fires back at John and actually knocks him out. And then, um, then the lady shows her fears again, and she's on Krypton, and shows her taking off and the planet actually dying, like, and having no connection and no nothing. She's getting spun around in space. And then, um, turns out, then they get an ID on the woman, and her name is Gal Marsh, and the people call her Psy, and she's a metahuman. So, um, Wynn is creating a plan to basically create a dampener, um, to dampen her, like, ability so his car can defeat her. And then we have, uh, Wynn and Carr decide to talk for a little bit, and he, she basically just spills her guts out and tells her, tells him what exactly what's going on, and how it's affecting her really, really bad. So, Wynn thinks she, she should tell everyone, she says, I'm not doing it, and she has to go to back to work. So then the mom talks to the daughter again, and and the reason why she hit the girl in the face is because she called her a liar because her mom rescued her off that beam. So um, the mom fusses her out, and then we cut to Lena, um, knows Car is lying, but she drives it to Monel and how she has issues for him. And then um, Car just kind of brushes her off and says, that's not what I'm upset about, and then... She's like, I got other stuff I have to do when Lena tries to sign her another assignment. And so basically, Lena basically uh, dismisses her and calls rank on her position at the company and basically kind of reams her out just a little bit. 
and saying, you need to go talk to this person now. You're being very unprofessional at work. I'm going to need you to do what I need to tell you to do. So car case and says she has to do that. And then she goes to the elevator to go talk to the contact. And basically she has another panic attack in the elevator. She literally breaks the elevator and breaks the building trying to get out of there. So because she felt um very trapped in the elevator. I forgot what to call it. Claustrophobia. So she was having claustrophobia issues. And so um she goes up to the DO and went and ran a test and basically she just had a panic attack and she's like, I can't have a panic attack. That's like a human issue and not my issue. <laughs> but she's got to understand a panic attack is a panic attack. It doesn't matter who or what you are. It's going to happen. <laughs> so, um, and then Alex confronts Wynn because Supergirl said not to say anything, but Alex is, you know, confronts Wynn. And, of course, he spills his guts to her. And so then we found out the mom's daughter, which we found out her name is Ruby, ran away from home. And she goes to a pizza shop. Then Alex talks to Kara and tries to help her out and um, just encourage her a little bit. And then we have Sai attacks more people. And then the daughter goes out in the street because she's at, at the pizzeria. It's right next to the construction site to where... Sai is attacking people because she's stealing money from a bank across the street. So then Wynn has the device ready to help Supergirl. Then uh, Supergirl saves Mom and Ruby because the wrecking ball snapped and was about to hit them. But Supergirl saves them. So the uh, device doesn't really work against Sai. So she goes flying off again. Or I guess she got knocked back by a psychic attack and uh, got knocked out. A little bit, and so then Alex talks to Kara, and Kara thinks that she killed Monel, and that's why she's been freaking out because they she's like, I should have heard from him by now, but I haven't. What is happening? And then um, Alex comforts her and reassures her, and saying, like, I'm sure that's not the case. So you just got to learn to believe in yourself and believe that he's actually okay because you saved him. You didn't kill him. So uh, she gets more reassurance and she gets pretty angry with Sai. So um, she's starting to block her attacks and then uh, knocks her out. And then um, I, I only heard the last little bit of this because I had to step out of the room for a minute. So apparently Maggie doesn't want kids. So um, Alex says that that's fine, but that's the issue we probably need to talk about. So they'll probably talk about that later. And so the mom and the daughter talk um, in the ambulance. And then we cut to Car and Lena talk. And Car apologizes, like, hey, I'm very sorry about this. And it turns out I do have way more baggage about my nail than I thought I did. And so um, then it turns out the mom's name is Sam or Samantha. No, didn't really catch the last name. And now she works at CADCO, and she's basically running point for Lena. So basically, um, Lena's not going to be there, I don't think, every single day, as she said earlier in the episode, but um, Sam's going to take point and let her know what's going on in the office, basically. And so then they have this little outro moment where basically um, everyone's like settling down for the night and getting ready to go to sleep, and the mom... Um, Sam tries to um, bend a crowbar, but she can't bend it. So um, they, so she technically doesn't have powers right now. And so then we cut to John is drinking at a bar, and basically she he gets like a second message from Nagan, telling him to go to Mars, and that's how we leave the episode. I thought it was a really good episode about conquering your fears and how to just look on the bright side, and just a bunch of really cool stuff that's happening in this episode. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it, so I'm going to give it an A-plus episode, because it was an A-plus episode. So I really, really did like it, and just, I like the character film because, you know, Cara's still got baggage and feels, she kind of has her fibers guilt from sending Monel away, and how she got to stay, and basically destroy the atmosphere for Monel and, and all the Dexamites and stuff. So, and it's going to be very interesting to see if he is going to come back, because I don't know. Um, I thought he was a good character compared to other people think he's total trash, but I, don't, I felt he was pretty decent, and it added something to the show, I feel like, anyway. So, um, 
that's going to do it for this episode. So if you like this episode, please give it a like. Comment down below and then subscribe for more stuff because I will have more stuff, I hope. I want y'all to have a super duper awesome day and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.